hey guys so in this video we will learn how to make a button change its colors without using multiple sprites so we are going to start by creating a new project so create a new project i will name it buttons create a new empty game add a new scene new scene add a new object sprite name it button and apply oops uh, okay, so let's just add the animation to it. Add an animation, add, and I'll just add this picture of a white colored button. It is from KNA.NL, uh, free UI assets. I'll put a link in the description. You can download it from there. So, yeah, download it. It's free. Let's click on apply and bring it here on the screen. I'll make it a little bigger so that we can clearly see it. So the next thing, you're going to go to event sheet, add a new event and uh, this is going to be a condition that when the color is 1, which is going to be a variable of button, so uh, value of object variable, let's add the color variable, so add and I'll just choose color and I'll just give it a default value, I'll give it a default value of 1, uh, I'll click on apply, I'll choose an operator equals to, equals to and um and we want the color to equals to one for this condition so okay uh, okay let me select the color uh, okay so the variable color of button is equals to one then we're gonna have button and then i'll just go down and choose global color and uh, let it be like red no not red like white you know like it's disabled at one so you know what let's make it gray because that looks more like disabled button so yeah, so now let me just click on OK and now I'm just going to copy this entire event and paste it. So this time we are going to change the condition to minus one and change the global color to um, green. Uh, so green, let me just put it up over there. Okay, click on OK and yeah, add one more event for the mouse. So uh, add condition and we're gonna choose the mouse cursor or mouse here it is so when the cursor is on this button object so um, then what we do want is i'll just um, go and add a sub event so add a sub event that when the cursor is on the button then button uh, no, not the button i think uh, not the button what we want is when the mouse button is pressed so mouse and mouse button pressed or touch held left okay so when the cursor is on the button and the, the left mouse button is down what we want is add an action button and uh, modify the variable of the object color equals to and uh, you can just multiply it by minus one so basically we have made a toggle logic so I'll just explain in a bit. So color is one and it's going to be multiplied by minus one. So um, when color is going to be one, minus one into one will be minus one. Else if it, the color is minus one already, then it will be one. So it will keep toggling between minus one and one. So yeah, that is great. And uh, because of this, the color will change. So let me just play it. So let me just... Um, so the value will be changed value will be one value is one right now you know what let's just add a value debug so text i'll let's just name it debug and um, let the default value be one click on apply and you know what let me just change it to value so that we don't get confused uh, apply and uh, let me just put it here so this will show us the value of the color variable so let's go to event sheet and add a new event add a new event and uh, you know what let's make it separate event so for no conditions we want uh, the debug to show the value so where's the modify no this one not this one modify the text okay let me just search um modify here then modify the text equals to we're gonna choose the uh, variable uh, no not the object variable where the object variable okay again search variable okay here's the object variable so i'll choose the object to be button and the variable to be color apply so this will show the um, color um as the text so let's play this thing and um 
okay you can see that it is right now one the color variable is right now one okay so if i click on it uh see it's, it's changed to it changed to minus one but you can see it is a little bit of flickering going on here now that is because we have not choose the trigger once while true condition so add a condition other conditions and advanced and trigger once while true so it will only trigger once so yeah let's play this thing and uh, if i click on it it gets green minus one one minus one okay so it's toggling right now it's toggling between one and minus one or basically green or gray color so yeah this is how you make it uh, in this video we learn two things first of all how to make a button without using multiple sprites I'll change the color of the button and also the toggling logic that i just explained uh, earlier so if you want you can change this um, color to any other color uh, let me just go to change color of button so um let me just click here so you can change actually this value this uh, value right here to any other color if you want so there are a million options for you for this purpose so yeah let me just click on okay and also this logic uh, no not this one this this logic is basically the toggling logic that we just learned so um, you can use it in multitude of ways uh, for whatever purposes you want so yeah this was the video if you like it please uh, press the like button also guys subscribe and make it 200 subscribers thank you very much uh, have a nice day goodbye